حكيم اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم I seek refuge with Allah from the Satan the accursed in the name of Allah most kind most merciful respected ulmas respected elders Sisters and brothers, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi. May God's peace be with you. I welcome you to this meeting. Here, Didat speak on Rushdi. It is indeed a great honor for us all to have Sheikh Ahmad Didat amidst us. Once more, the internationally renowned Muslim scholar of the Christian Bible will share with us some of his experiences. He will tell us how in South Africa, with a Muslim population of less than 2%, They were about the first to succeed in having satanic verses banned. And how they were able to have Rushdi stopped from entering that country. We must bear in mind, sisters and brothers, that a British passport holder does not need a visa to enter that country. And South Africa is the country where apartheid is practiced. Ladies and gentlemen, it is also a privilege for me to introduce to you our chairman for today, Brother Sharif Malnik. Brother Malnik, alhamdulillah, embraced Islam some ten years ago. He is a lawyer holding a Jewish doctor from the US. He is a successful international businessman and presently resides in London. Sisters and brothers, Mr. Sharif Malnik. Auzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Jazakallah khair. Sheikh Didat, Brother Shamshad, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Before I introduce the honorable and distinguished speaker, I have been asked to read this to you. Satan, being thus confined to a vagabond, wandering, unsettled condition, is without any certain abode, for though he has, in consequence of his angelic nature, a kind of empire in the liquid waste or air. Yet this is certainly part of his punishment, 
that he is without any fixed place or space allowed him to rest the sole of his foot upon. Has anyone here actually read or heard this passage before within the last 12 months? Put up the hands. Could, could you, sh with a show of hands, please. Has anybody actually heard or read this? That, 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 yeah. One. Yes, I see one I, and approximately 6,000 people here. Uh, this is actually the first page, the grand opening, the prologue, if you will, of the satanic verses it is really the great hoax of the 20th century that with over a million copies sold with people willing to defend that book with their lives that no one has actually read the book and if someone says they have read it I'm sure they don't understand what they've read because if you have read this book and you understand what you've read, then you would not have defended it, but you would have rallied against it. This book truly represents a conspiracy against the nation. We have been fooled, all of us. Satanic Selman aptly chose that passage, which I read to you, to describe himself with no abode, punished, and with no place to rest the sole of his foot. An interesting prediction. And yet, this book was given the Book Award. It is a standard of literature which our future generations will study and be influenced by. We cannot allow that to happen. You cannot afford to allow that to happen. I should like to mention, as many in our audience are familiar with our most honorable speaker, you may have noticed that today's program did not begin with a recitation from the Holy Quran. This is most unusual for our prolific speaker, as you are probably aware if you have seen any of the 65 videotapes produced by Sheikh Vidat and his organization, the Islamic Propagation Center International. The Holy Quran will not be recited today because the speaker shall deal with the actual contents of the satanic verses. I say the actual contents because I'm sure that you don't know what this obscene book contains and you have proved it here today, one hand in 6,000. It is the vulgar nature of the satanic verses which precludes us from reading the Holy Quran to open the program today. But, ladies and gentlemen, somebody has to do the job. Do not despair. Sheikh Ahmed Didat is here with us today, and he has done the job for us. He is the first person to deal with the contents, the actual contents of the satanic verses, however distasteful this may be. He is not afraid to dirty his hands. For, in order to remove an impurity, one must necessarily dirty one's hands. Let us remember that it is Salman Rushdie and his defenders who have provoked and necessitated this response. I would like to warn the audience that passages from the satanic verses will be read aloud. These passages are offensive to every decent man and woman. Unfortunately, there is no other way to properly deal with this subject. So I, I would suggest that we have two minutes, if there are any persons here who are prudish, or if there are any children here, I would suggest that they take this opportunity to leave the hall. You have been warned also in the advertisements that this is not for prudish men or women. It is necessary to lay out a few ground rules which, under which we shall operate today. We ask, or rather insist, that you remain calm and orderly. Do not attempt to break the stage security perimeter. At the end of the lecture, members of the audience are invited to ask questions.